We continue in this uh, journey of learning AQL. Uh, one thing that uh, I want to emphasize is that all the AQL commands uh, that I use in this series are in the text files, and I'm showing here the text file, that is on a link that uh, shows in the video description. So you can actually go here, you don't need to type all these uh, one by one, you can actually uh, grab them from here and start uh, using it. So let's continue now and do a, use AQL to search the content of the payload. This is not the logs, this is not the flows, but the actual payload itself. What if I'm looking for something in the payload? How can I find it with AQL? So I'm actually grabbing this uh, statement in here and let's uh, look at, at it. So basically I'm saying search the payload and put in a column uh, so a row payload from events where that row payload, notice that the, the where infers the name that you give to the column has something like test embedded in somewhere with word with letters before and after. But if I see the text test, I want you to find it for me. And when you click here enter, you find all these entries in here. So this is just as a way of showing it that it's working. But we can make a better statement than that by, by formatting the columns better and put this information. But before I do that, when you are searching the payload, these searches are pretty uh, expensive in, in the sense and the, of, of the search. And you can take advantage. Remember when we talked on the first video about quick filter, that everything is indexed? You can actually make searches and exploit the fact that you have all that data index and get your searches work much faster. Let me show you how. Change that search from just that. Notice that the key here is the word text search. And then I put test. This is actually leveraging that indexing that we have in there. So this is the data that has already been indexed. So you have both options. If you are searching for something that is more than 30 days old, you use you better use the previous search. If you are searching something that is within the 30 days default that we show you in the first video on quick searches, this is the way to go. It's much faster. And as we mentioned when we were showing the quick filter searches, you can do searches with regular expressions as well. For example, in here, we are searching for on the payload for any PDF or zip file that exists in there. So when I click search here, and I don't get any result because that offense fired a while back. So let me put the last, uh, let me put three hours, and execute the search again we got the data. We're going to be formatting this in, in a nicer way. But again, beautiful. We are using two things. Quick filter, which are index searches are very fast, especially when you're talking about the payload, because you, in, in, this is a simple demo system, but in a production environment, there are going to be a lot of data to, to search for. And second, the fact that you can use regular expressions when you are uh, performing these searches because in reality if we could use regular expression when we're doing the quick filter but that's what we are actually doing here only that we are invoking them from uh, AQL and remember that the advantage of this is that uh, it can be done uh, programmatically as well let us improve that search a bit by putting some columns and put, putting some more meaningful data. You've, you've, done, you've seen me doing this before and taking the QID and putting as an event name, source IP, destination IP, username, and log source. Uh, so let's actually change that time to last three hours as well. And execute the search and we will get a more meaningful table. There you are. But there's room for improvement here. I, there's some data and some of the other pages in here, but I don't want that unknown. Well, 
we can actually modify our SQL here and search and specify that another one that I've known, or I can just right click on it on the actual event and do filter on event name unknown. And notice what's going to happen. Take a look what I click in here, what happened on the actual search. I don't know if you noticed, but I made a mistake of actually selecting to filter only the unknown, just the opposite of what I wanted. But notice that it put that and event name equal unknown. And what we want is not equal. So I can actually, just to prove the point, I'm going to delete it from here and actually going to right click and select is not unknown. And notice that my search is actually, well, actually I need to eliminate it still here, but uh, and, and just put it like this. Now this should work and give me everything but the unknown. And here we have it. All those are gone. Again, uh, I wanted to show you uh, the capability of filtering by doing right click on the events that you don't want. And then you don't have to go ahead and type the syntax over here. Very powerful. I, I really recommend you to get used to the uh, using more AQL with Curator and you're going to find that searches after this become second nature to you they're going to become much easier to execute